Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Super Carlin Gaming, where today we are going to be learning how to build a competitive deck on the Pokemon trading card game online, which is not something that I am personally super good at. I've been trying to get more and more into it lately, but fortunately I am joined today by one of my uh, favorite Pokemon trading card game creators here on YouTube, Mitch from The Sable Eyes. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me. I am. Uh, thanks for being here. You are. You are probably one of the channels I am watching the most right now on YouTube. Like every morning when I wake up, I'm like, I'm like watching Mitch play trading card games with my coffee. It has been. Well, that's, um, that's really good. Thank you for <laughs> that. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think it's. Uh, it has been improving my gameplay a lot just watching you and i feel like every time i log on to my online account here i'll get so excited to like tinker with a new deck or something and i'll like mess around with it for 20 15 minutes like building it out and then i'll go play and I, maybe i'll win one or two maybe i'll lose one or two but then i just feel like i don't know what's wrong i don't know what what the matter is because i don't i don't i don't think deck building is necessarily my forte so that's that's why I've called you you in here yeah. to, Fair to enough. help Fair me enough. out. But it's interesting. It's interesting you say that because I also don't feel like, like deck building is my forte. I just have done it a lot, so I've kind of got I got better at the the key concepts of it. So hopefully we can share some of those out today. Well, hopefully, hopefully, and hopefully, uh, people watching can take something away too. So what what are we going to be working on today? I'll just click create new deck here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to work through the process that I use to build decks. It's a, it's a convenient seven step process. Oh, so you have like a, you have a seven step difficult. program. Yep. Seven step program to be better at Pokemon cards. All right. Um, <laughs> stick that one in the title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what yeah there we go. We just figured out the thing. title. Fantastic. <laughs> the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what the focus of our deck is going to be. So... Like, what are we going to try and do? Are we going to try and take lots of prize cards, deal a lot of damage? Are we going to try and deny our opponent energy? Is there a specific card that we want to build with? That's normally the first step. Okay. Well, I think as I think let's go with the most straightforward thing possible, which is just um, take all the prize cards. All right. Well, let's let's uh, let's do that. That sounds fantastic. And a card that's really really good for taking all the prize cards is Eternatus V Max. Um, a really, really simple card, but deals a lot of damage. It's got Dreaden, 30 damage, times the amount of Dark Pokemon that are in play, and we can have extra Dark Pokemon thanks to the ability Eternal Zone, which is super, 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 super good. So what we normally do, well, what I normally do, is I'll put in four copies of the focus of the deck. So since we've got a Eternatus VMAX, we'll probably throw in four of those, and we need to evolve it up, so four Eternatus V as well. All right, well, we're gonna go with as many of these black and gold copies as possible to look fancy for our opponent. Well, you gotta you gotta bling them out, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you can go shiny, you go as shiny as possible. All oh, right. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, so step two, we need to figure out what Pokemon we're gonna use to support our Eternatus. Now, Eternatus obviously needs a lot of Pokemon in play. And they all need to be dark types. So this right. is a good thing. It means that we don't need to worry so much about all of the different cards that we could choose. We can just pick the dark ones out. Right. Um, now, there's normally three different types of support Pokemon, in my experience. Um, there's Pokemon that accelerate you towards your win condition. So they help you draw cards or they help you accelerate energy into play. There are Pokemon that help give you more damage. Um, so they'll either do like an extra damage counter of, of damage or whatever it is. I don't know exactly what we're going to put in here. Um, and we also have uh, denial cards, so cards that can kind of make it harder for our opponent to win. Um, and the best thing about that is that it makes the anagram add, which is fantastic. Right? We want to add in support Pokemon, yeah. acceleration, damage, denial. So let's think about how we're going to draw cards first. Is there a dark Pokemon in the format that helps us draw cards? Well, yes, there is. Crobat V is an incredibly good card to do this. It's got the ability Dark Asset, which means that we can draw cards until we have six in our hand. And it's a fantastic, fantastic Pokemon in this deck because it's Dark type. We can play four of them, which means that we get to draw a ton of cards with Crobat. So I'd say probably chuck as many of them in as we can. All right, four Crobats in, done. Perfect. 
All right, now we need to figure out how we're going to accelerate energy. Um, and Eternus has always really struggled at this, but with the brand new set Chilling Rain that's just come out, there is a card that can accelerate dark energy in the format, and that is the brand new Galarian Moltres. I don't know if you've managed to pick up a couple of those. I have a couple right here. I have just two. Is that is that what we're aiming for? That, that is perfect. Two is perfect. Excellent. Moltres, so, I think, might have the yeah. coolest artwork for the for the whole set. Not this one, but the full art one, the alt art Oh, the, the alt art is really nice as oh, well. So They're cool. really, really good. Um, so Moltres, what, what Moltres does, um, I can't, what's its, a, what's its ability name? Dire, Dire Flame, Flame Wings. Wings. Whew. It's a really good ability because it gets energy out of the discard pile. So if you've got a dark energy in the discard pile, you can accelerate energy to your Moltres and that gives you more energy in play to move around later. Now, we'll, we'll talk about how we're gonna do that in a second, but the Diaflame Wings ability is really good. Plus, we also have Aura Burn, which is another attack we can use. So that kind of semi-covers our damage as well, which is nice. Excellent. Alrighty, now, damage. We, we're dealing 270 damage with Eternatus VMAX with a full bench, because 30 times the amount of Pokemon that are in play, which is nine, is 270. That's a piece of maths that I do know. There you go. Um, so <laughs> we need to get lots of Pokemon in play, but we're also not gonna one-shot any other VMAXs very easily. So what we probably need to do is we need to find a basic Pokemon that can help give us a little bit of extra damage. And a really good Pokemon for that is Galarian Zigzagoon. So oh. Zigzagoon has an ability uh, called Headbutt Tantrum which means that when you play it onto the bench, you deal one damage counter to any Pokemon on your opponent's side of the field, which is incredibly good. Like, it doesn't seem like it's really good, but it, it really is really good. Uh, and we can play four of these to deal four damage counters across the game. So if we chuck in four, they're easy to find, they're easy to put into, into play, and they're not that big of a deal if we get knocked out, right? Yeah. Goon, we don't really care about it. We Single just want to use the ability and then it's on the field. It's powering up Eternatus. Okay. Uh, finally, we've done acceleration. We've done damage. Now we need to do a little bit of denial. So something to make it a little bit harder for our opponent to, to win the game, right? We want to stop our opponent from beating us. That's the, that's the key. Now, there's two cards that we can use that are really, really good. The first one is also from Chilling Rain. It is the brand new Olipard V, which has an ability when you put it into play, you discard a Pokemon tool card from your opponent's side of the field. So Hidden Claw, a really cool ability that stops your opponent from using things like Big Charm, which will increase the amount of HP that Pokemon have, as well as some other tools that might help them retreat or help them deal more damage. We don't want them to have it. We're gonna put in one of these. All right, Lipar. Uh, and finally, in? finally, we've got uh, Eveltal, I think is a really, really cool card as well, um, which has a really neat attack called Derail, which deals a little bit of damage, but discards a special energy as well, uh, which could potentially be a little bit frustrating for our opponent, especially if they have a deck that relies on special energy. Um, another good thing about Eveltal, it has free retreat. It's the only free retreater that our deck really runs. So definitely worth putting in a copy of that. That is excellent. I can tell this card bothers me. I've played against it so many times, and I played so much single strike that it was it was such a pain. Because like you think it'd be such a great matchup with Eternatus to have the fighting type, but this thing would come in and get rid of all my energies. Yeah, it just comes in and it just pesters you and annoys you, and then you have to get more energy in play. It's just frustrating. Yeah. But yeah, I think this is a, a pretty solid Pokemon lineup. We've got our main attack, we've got our focus, we've got our support Pokemon. We are looking good. All right. One of the things that we do need to do though, is we need to figure out how to search for those Pokemon. And that's step three is Pokemon search. Um, now there's a couple of cards in the format that can do this, but the best one by far is Quick Ball. Quick Ball is just a generically really, really good card. You discard a card from your hand, and then find a basic Pokemon. Really, really good. All right, yes. There we go, four in deck. Perfect, now we've got lots of Pokemon. Um, so another good way to find Pokemon in the trading card game is by using a card called Pokemon Communication. Um, just a bit of a bit of fun facts here for you uh, watching at home. Pokemon Communication is best 
when you have 19 Pokemon or more, I believe the number is. Um, because that means you're giving yourself the best chance to draw Pokemon and then shuffle them into your deck, which is what Pokemon communication does. Now, we've got 20 Pokemon, so we should have absolutely no problems using Pokemon communication regularly. So we'll chuck in as many of those as we can. All right. Got those in. Um, we still need to find a lot of other stuff. Um, now, there's other cards we could use. We could use Evolution Incense if we wanted to. We could use, like, Pokeball, or there's a bunch of interesting ones. But since we have so many Pokemon, I think the best way to go is to grab Great Ball. Uh, Great Ball is an interesting card that doesn't get a lot of play in a lot of decks, but in this one particularly, it is quite nice. We look at the top seven cards of our deck and then grab a Pokemon that we find there. Um, we don't need four of them because we've already got a lot of other search options, but I think playing three is probably pretty good because if we just get a Great Ball off the top of the deck, we can just throw it in, see what Pokemon we get, and hopefully it can advance our board state a little bit, which would be nice. Okay. All right, three have been added. Perfect. So we've got our ways to find Pokemon. We've got our Pokemon. Now we need ways to draw cards because in Pokemon, the best thing to do with your turn is to give yourself more cards to work with. Um, so we're going to try and add some consistency cards in now. Best consistency card in the game at the moment. You're way ahead of me here is <laughs> Professor. I know where this one's going, yeah. It is so, so good. Lots of people get a little bit nervous about Professor's Research because you discard your hand and draw seven cards. Um, people say, why would I want to get rid of the good cards that I have in my hand just to draw seven more? It's usually because the good cards that you have in your hand are not good for you right now, and you'd much rather see seven more. So Professor's Research, the best draw supporter in the game. Definitely put four of those in. And another really, really good consistency card that we can use is one that people get very frustrated by. It's Marnie. Oh, yes. If so, you, if you uh, go check out Mitch's channel, uh, The Sableyes, after you're done watching this one, which you should because you're going to be able to see this deck in action a little bit more, uh, th there's just the running gag of will he get Marnied, which is yes. All the time. If I ever mention that I'm going to get Marnied, <laughs> I, I definitely will. So Marnie is a, a card that's really good because it helps you draw cards, but it also disrupts your opponent, which is a very, very good thing to have. So it reads that you shuffle your hand to the bottom of your deck and draw five, and your opponent does the same and draws four. Um, and that can be really good because sometimes you just want to see five new cards and you don't want to discard your hand. And other times you just want to stop your opponent from being able to use whatever cards they currently have in their hand. Maybe they've searched out a card for their next turn that they want to use, we can mine it and get rid of it, which is really, really strong. Excellent. All right. Okay, now, sometimes consistency cards doesn't just mean drawing. Consistency means being able to do what you want to do all the time. And one of the cards that is really good for that, that people often overlook when they're thinking about how their deck's going to work, is Switch. So Switch is one of the most basic cards in the game. It has existed since the dawn of time. It's, it was in base set, I believe. Yes. It literally just says you move your Pokemon from the active position to the bench and put something in the active. It's it's the, the simplest card in the game, but it is a really, really good consistency card because sometimes you have something in the active that you don't want to have in the active. Maybe your opponents use boss's orders, which we'll talk about in a second. Maybe they've used escape rope. You want to get that Pokemon out of the active. Switch is the best way to do that. So we're going to play four copies of that for sure. That card is really, really nice. All right, there you go. Four copies in. Also, I love that I happen to randomly have this very base set looking Switch card. Yeah, the uh, the Evolutions uh, Switch does look very, very nice. Very right? nostalgic. Yeah. Okay, so we've got 43 cards at the moment. We've done Pokemon. We've done Consistency cards. But we are missing a very, very important part of a Pokemon card deck. And that is Energy. Uh, we'll be doing... We'll do boss in a second. <laughs> like, Believe me. Uh, okay. Like, if we want to put boss in, we'll put boss in in a minute. Um, energy is important, because if we don't have energy, then we can't attack. So, <coughs> we're usually looking to have around 10 energy in a deck. Since we're playing a dark-type Pokemon, we probably want to have dark energy. So, just go ahead and chuck in 10 copies of dark energy. We can, we can figure out the exact amount that we want to have later. All right, 10 in. 
Beautiful. Now we go to our tech card. So these are the cards that we're gonna to use to win the game, right? This is where boss's orders comes in. So this is our first quote unquote tech card. Um, tech cards are usually like, they're not integral to the way that your deck works, like all these other cards are, but they're cards that will help you win faster. So boss's orders is a really, really good one. You switch one of your opponent's Pokemon from the bench with their active. So it means that you can target down things that are easier to knock out on the bench. Um, we want to probably play three of these because it's a very, very good card. Um, it's usually a card that I put in first. It's like one of the first cards that I put in. Right. But we don't need technically to have boss. So <clears throat> it's a tech card for this video. Now, what now? What boss do you go for? Are you Lysander or are you Giovanni? At the moment, I'm a Giovanni guy. Yeah, absolutely. But that's Lysander only because thing. there is no full art Lysander boss yet. So <laughs> <laughs> if I had a full art Lysander one, I would use him because he's cooler. <laughs> oh, I hard disagree. Hard disagree. But we'll... We can discuss that later. Anyway. That's all right. That's an off-camera discussion. That's right. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got uh, boss's orders. We're still looking for some tech cards. How are we going to win this game? Well, I don't know if we remember, but the Moltres has an ability that allows us to accelerate energy, but sometimes we don't always want to have that energy on our Moltres. Sometimes we want to move it to our Eternatus so that we can start attacking. And a good way to do that is by using a card called Energy Switch. Uh, so it's a, a very frustrating one to search for sometimes on PTCGO because there are so many copies of it. But Energy Switch is a really cool one. It just means you move an energy from one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. And we can use that to get energy from Galarian Moltres onto our Eternatus so that we can start attacking as quickly as possible. Um, for the sake of argument, let's just chuck in like three of these. Uh, we're getting pretty close to our 60 cards, but that's okay. We'll deal with that in step seven. Right there. Okay, cool. So looks like yeah, we have one one to go. One to go. Now we're we're <coughs> we're gonna go over sixty cards here, and this is a normal part of the deck building process. It's it's fine. Um, we also want a card to uh, counter a brand new stadium card that just came out. So there's a brand new stadium called Path to the Peak, and essentially, in in shorthand, it turns off all abilities of Pokemon that have uh, rule boxes. So Eternatus' ability that gives us all of those extra cards and all those extra Pokemon gets turned off. We don't want our opponent to play this, so we need a card that can counter that. And a really, really good card to do that is a card called Chaotic Swell, which is a stadium card that we put into play. And if our opponent replaces our stadium with a stadium of their own, then they discard that stadium as well. So our plan, put in Chaotic Swell, hope that our opponent doesn't have a way to get rid of it and that they can't replace it with Path of the Peak. Because if they do, we're in trouble. We're probably going to put in a couple of copies of this one. All right. Oh, there's our warning. We're over 60. <laughs> Terrible warning. We've <laughs> gone bigger than 60. <laughs> Um, another tech card that's really good for Eternatus is actually an energy card. So we might go back to our energy section. Um, one of the best decks in the format at the moment is actually Fighting Type. And Eternatus is weak to Fighting Type. So what we can do is we can attach a card called Weakness Guard Energy to Eternatus to try and stop our opponent from using that particular weakness against us. Um, this turns off our weakness. I'm going to suggest that we put three of these in, and it's going to put us way over the top of our card limit. All right. But it is such an important card that I think it is definitely worth it. All right. Weakness guard in. Beautiful. Okay. So I feel like we've added in every card that we want at the moment, but we've got 64 cards, which means that we're just a little bit too far over our limit at the present Time. So, this is our final step, and it's the step that usually takes the longest, um, and that's cutting cards, right? Because we've got all the cards that we want, but we're not legally allowed to play it. So we have to go back through all the cards that we currently have, and figure out, okay, what ones can we afford to get rid of, so that we can get underneath 60 cards. The first place that I usually start is the energy section, because normally you put in more energy than you need at the start, because it's a little bit more comfortable, you can cut back. So for us, we definitely want to have three weakness guard. Do we need to have 10 darkness? Probably not. I'd say we can cut maybe two or three of these to go down to seven, because then we've got our 10 energy, but we're not necessarily going to miss those darkness energies when we need them. 
This is really good for us, specifically because we are one card away now from being able to play this deck. And I really like all the Pokemon, so let's go back to our trainer section and see if we can't figure out a spot to remove one. Um, now, we've got a lot of Pokemon Search, we've got a lot of Energy Switch, we've got a lot of Supporters as well. Um, we play four Crobat in our deck, so my gut feeling, and it's a weird thing to say, but my gut feeling is that we get rid of one Marnie, because we don't necessarily need four, because we have four Crobat. And that gets us to 60 cards. We have a competitive deck. You could take this out onto the ladder right now and win some games with it. All right, well, perhaps we should. Perhaps we should. Let's let's give it a crack. We'll see if we can just go out and, and win straight away. Oh, we need a name. I'm gonna call it Mitch's Unstoppable Deck. There we go. Oh no. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, Unstoppable, that a we'll see. Of pressure on. <laughs> Do I have a fun coin for this one? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with the Dragapult, because that one's fun. This this is arguably the hardest part. This is like, do I want to troll my opponent and like try and fake them out, make them make a weird mistake, but make them think that we're playing like Picarom or something? I know, right? Whew. Make them <laughs> though. Maybe they th maybe they will. I pretty much maybe always go will. with these sleeves though, because I feel like these these are my favorite. Oh yeah, they're they're definitely the cooler ones. Yeah, for sure. All right, there we go. All right, game. Mitch's unstoppable deck has been saved. Go try it out. We shall go try it out. All right, going. Um, all right, we have got our deck, Mitch's unstoppable deck. Let's take, let's go find out how unstoppable it is. Take it for a spin. Hopefully, it works as intended. Hopefully, otherwise it'll be a very sad time for all of us. I know, right? Everyone's gonna be like, I don't know if this deck building strategy is uh, this seven step program is not for me. Yeah, it's like, hey, listen, this sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, oh yeah, cool. We've got a really, the... really good opening hand here. So we probably want to start with our Eternatus V. Right, um, we've got two energy as well. We probably hold on to the Zigzagoon because we yeah. don't want to use its ability right. just yet. And we get the but yeah, we're, we're, really, we're really cruising here because we've got... Oh boy, what are we playing against here? This, yeah, could, be, catapult this could be anything. Something, right? It's got a version. Ooh, I'm, I'm curious to see what this deck ends up being. Hmm. Well, find out soon. <laughs> we certainly will. But yeah, we've got a really, really good hand in the sense that we've got a quick ball, which means we can grab a crowbat, or we can just draw one. Or we that's can just fine. draw it. <laughs> that's that's easy, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll probably be able to really uh, really increase our speed of play here, which would be that's fantastic. Oh no! Okay. Oh wow. Um, can we can we win this game this turn? Uh, I don't think so. Oh oh no! No, you don't think so. We could quick ball for the we mm, we could quick ball. For the Moltres, the Moltres, right? The, and then Crobat yeah. and Energy Switch, right? No, we don't have the, we can't yeah. evolve. That's the problem. We, we could attack, we could try and attack with Crobat. Should we try and do that? Let's do it. Okay, so let's quick ball away in Energy. We're gonna get that Moltres. Hopefully we have one in the deck and we do. Yep, yeah. Oh, Beautiful. All right, then we're gonna, we're gonna play that down. Yep. We're gonna play down the Zigzagoon. Yep, boom. Yep, boom, take that. We're gonna play down the Chaotic Swell. Yep. Gonna We're gonna play down the Crobat. Yep. Because we wanna draw as many cards as we can. Mm. Okay, we're gonna attach a Dark Energy to Crobat because we're insane. Yep, here we go, it's, got, it's all working out. I don't we're think we gonna, got another quick ball, so we can crowbat again. Actually, I think um, I think we I think we probably shouldn't have done that to be honest, but that's okay. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna use Moltres's ability. Yeah, this is happening. It's all working. All and right. Then we're gonna pass because we can't really do anything else. What? No, yeah, we can quick ball for another crow crowbat. We can only use one crowbat. Oh, turn. is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. We went, okay, okay. Uh, that's okay. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. We'll You're right. It, we'll okay. get it next time. That I would have made that mistake because I don't. I don't. Okay. Okay. That's, That's why okay. I've got you here, Mitch, he, to make sure I don't make dumb mistakes like that. Hey, listen. I it was my dumb mistake. I made it. <laughs> oh, here comes the crushing hit. But that's okay because we'll just get it right back, right? Yes, oh, no. we do. We get it right back from the Moltres, and he's given us the. He's taken the energy off of the Crobat, which is great for us. Yeah, there we go. See, um, because, we get it where we want it now. Yeah. Exactly. Or plus, we can just switch. Well, I don't, we can we can attack with Moltres this turn if we. 
We absolutely can. And I think that that's the best way to go about it, to be honest. I think we... Oh, look, another Moltres. Nice. Okay, so what we can do is we can attach the weak guard energy to Moltres. Oh, all right. Because okay. it has a double dark and colorless attack cost. Then we can use the ability with Moltres to get the energy that he just removed from our Crobat. Then we can switch, if we'd like. Go into that Moltres. We can quick ball away the dark energy in our hand. And grab a Crobat. All right, then we're gonna we're gonna play down the second Moltres. We're gonna evolve the Eternatus Vmax. Here we go. And we're we're rolling these cards. Bam! Look at that. The perfect Crobat. It's working. Everything's everything is working. All right. Um, I think that we hold the hand that we currently have. I agree. We could play all of these cards, <clears throat> but I think we hold on to it because it's good for next turn yeah. and we've already got our knockout at the moment. So right. I think we just attack with the Moltres. Going down, Aura Burn. Bring it, die Meowth. Bang, see you later. Oh, and they've, uh, two poker comms. Okay, the there. That's kind of that's kind of annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. So we can we can live without them. We've got most of the Pokemon we need, I think, at this point. Yeah, exactly. And we've already Crobat got our Eternatus hand. in play, and we've got Crobat research, we've got Eveltal, we've got pretty much everything that we need. What are we so playing? So it's just a matter of uh, trying to figure out what our opponent is doing here. Yeah, what does the Licky Licky do? Oh, Discard boy. a random card from your opponent's hand, something. Yeah, it's uh, usually Lickitungs have weird kind of milling abilities or milling attacks, so... I don't know what we're up against here. It could be literally anything. It's interesting that he decided to get rid of the Licky Licky and instead got a um, got a Lickitung. Oh, look at that. We just... The Chaotic Swell worked exactly as it was intended. Because yes. the path to the peak is gone. Oh, but does he have another one now? Because we only have the... No, we have two Chaotic Swells, so we can... We do, yeah, exactly. If so we get we another one, then okay we're pretty much As set. long as we can find another Chaotic Swell this turn, yeah. we should be fine. Uh, okay. And we definitely want to play down that Eveltal now because we can see our opponent plays an Altaria. They've got the Swablu on the bench, right. and we cannot attack into Altaria with our V Pokemon. So we right. definitely want that uh, Eveltal. Um, it might be worth like just quick balling away a card, pretty much any card in this in this hand is fine to get rid of. I'd say just yeah. a research since we've got two of them. Yep. Um, let's grab another Eternatus, I think. Because yeah, oh, actually I just, I just realized what we could have done. Yeah, it's fine. It, we, we, we'll draw it. Um, play down the Eternatus and then hit the research, I reckon. All right, here we go. We don't need to play that Crobat. Oh. All righty. Um, let's, let's throw both of these great balls into the into the universe and see what we're given. Okay. Zigzagoon, that's fine. We'll use the other one as well. Thin out the deck. Oh, much bigger selection here. That's a, that's a lot. Um, let's grab the, I don't know, let's grab the Crobat. That seems like a good card to get. Oh, now, that's good. That's good. what we're going to use is we're going to use Pokemon Communication to get rid of one of the Eternatus VMAX in our hand. Okay. And we're going to grab that Lyopard that we put in this deck. Because our opponent has a tool attached to them that I'm not a big fan of them having. So, let's play this down. Get rid of that tool. Get rid of that. Not interested. Then we can use the ability from Moltres on the bench to get another energy in play. And we can take a knockout with uh, with our Moltres in the active. Boom! Look at this. Look at that. Everything, working. Everything's working exactly as intended. Fantastic. Though we're gonna have, it looks like we're going to go through all six... Uh, we are, yeah, we are going to need to take six prizes, which is slightly uncomfortable, but it's okay. We'll, we'll be all right. Right. We just got to make sure we get around this Altaria. Cause that's, that's yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think, um, I think attaching to the Avel tool next turn is going to be a good play. Yeah. Agree. Or <laughs> we could even use our boss to knock out the, um, the Swablu before it turns into an Altaria if we get given the opportunity. Oh, there's the other path to the peak. That's okay, because Path of the Peak is going to turn off our abilities. It's actually going to get uh, let us get rid of a bunch of cards that we don't want. So we're going to discard Crobat. We're going to discard Crobat. And we're going to discard Zigzagoon. And nothing has really changed for us. There <laughs> so we're fine. Yeah. Except they can't easily take down our Crobats now. 
Yeah, and now we get to use a crowbat again, right? If we get to get rid of that uh, stadium. Right, so we're gonna attach to that a Veltal. But we are gonna use boss's orders to bring up that Swablu. Yeah, I think so. We, we want that out of here. We, that, no good. All right. And Knock you out. Boom. Nice. All right, that helps. That gives us another two turns at least. Before. Yeah, we're feeling we're feeling a lot more comfortable now. And we've got pretty much everything that we need in, in play already. Um, we are unfortunately going to have to go through this Poké Doll at some point because we don't have another boss in our hands. But we do have all of the things that we need to eventually win the game, which is really good. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because we've got the... And this is going to be Tails anyway. Ah! Yeah, exactly. It's always Tails. It's always, yeah, you just put right. the positive vibes out into the universe and it's, it's Tails. <laughs> What's he got? What's he got? He's thinking about something over there. He's, he's thinking. Well, I don't think he's got too much. That's uh, normally a uh, oh, fan of blades. He's going to get rid of our weakness guard energy. That's fine. We have fine. more energy. Do we have any more darks in here anyway? No, we don't. But We don't. We also don't have the ability to use our dark energies because um, of Path of the Peak. Oh, you're right. You're what right, does Let's so. Go Crazy do? Oh my god. That's incredible. And they discard an energy from us as well. Okay. This is going to be a, a slow burn here. Well, we can, oh, you're right, because we can't get it back. Hmm. What we can do, though, is we can attach to the Moltres in the active and then retreat into a Veltal because we've got that disruption, right? You're we've right. We've got derail. So we can get rid of their energy and hopefully they don't have a way of uh, attaching another energy this turn. Then should we... You think just great ball for thinning purposes well, here. We, we can but we don't really need to right because we can't we can't play any of the cards that we draw so sure. we may as well just hold on to it because you never know it might be useful later on all right oh. and then we just hit derail and discard that twin energy from our opponents licky licky yeah get out of here and hopefully they can't licks go crazy again this time <clears throat> money okay well i guess they're gonna have a solid chance to draw it they are, but we also get a solid chance to draw into our Chaotic Swell, which is really good. That's true. Yeah, well, and we'll have another chance too. We've got a research. They've got our, they've got their energy, which is unfortunate, but we've got a research. So we can try and draw some more cards. And I feel like we are eventually going to be able to run over the top of this deck. I think so. And we got the free retreat going here too. And there's chaotic the Chaotic Swell. swell. Yeah. Okay, so we play down the Chaotic Swell 100%. Yeah, get rid of that. And hey, then look at we that. research. Amazing. Uh, yeah, let's go research. We're going we to try. Do we need we to switch need to ahead one of time or anything? Stay again, sorry? Do we need to switch ahead of time? Uh, no, we don't because we've got free retreat, so we can we can just move wherever we want to anyway. That's true. And we got the energy. Perfect. So now we can use the ability on Moltres to get one of the Darkness energies back. We can and attach the weak guard energy. Yep. Bam. And then we can retreat into that Moltres and take a knockout, yes. which means we are uber close to winning this game. So, so close. Boy, these Moltres, they are crushing. Yeah, like, I mean, we, we said we were going to build an Eternatus deck, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently not. This is, this is Moltres apparently, with support and Moltres Eternatus, is going to be the way to go. Yeah. All right, so now so you have to get to rid of one yeah, of the energies. Yeah, we need to take two more prizes. Matter. They've only got one Pokemon. So if we if we get to knock out this Licky Licky, then we win the game. Yeah. It's pretty close anyway. Oh, there's that. So they're going to grab that back with Cynthia Caitlin. They oh, have a Swablu. Okay. But that's... And they've got the Triple Acceleration. They do. It's going to be a little bit annoying because they're going to discard an energy. Oh, that's the worst card they could have got. No. Oh, my God. We don't want that to happen. Um, this is fine, though, because we've still got our ability. So we can still right. uh, use Moltres' ability to get energy back. Right. Um, we just wanted to draw into one of those energies, actually. Um, I think we hold <laughs> on to the hand again because we have double energy switch, uh, which we want to save for later. So I think we just take this knockout on the Licky Licky, and uh, actually no, they've got a Marty in their hand, don't they? Because we saw them get it back, so yeah. we might just play Marty now. Okay, let's do it. Just because, just because we can, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, yes, yes. I understand the ramifications of my actions game. And we've got some extra energy, which is great. So we can attach one of those energies, I think the dark energy, uh, to the Eternatus VMAX because it's the name of the deck. We've it got is, to use right? it, right? Maybe we'll finish them off with that. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll take a knockout with the Moltres. All right, one to go, one to go. Now here comes the Altaria, right? Oh, yeah. we've got a boss. And then, so. Ooh, a boss. That would have been good last turn. I know, yeah, then we could... Yeah, here we go, here we go. All right. So now they can a little bit stall us, I guess. So certainly they're not going to play any other Pokemon down now, right? You wouldn't think. No, you, you wouldn't think so. Yeah. Although, by all means... Ah, there's the Marnie. So there's Marnie. Boss, That's anyway. actually not too bad because it means that we can draw into our energy switches, which means that we'll be able to get into our Aveltal <coughs> and hopefully attack into this Altaria. Okay, or, or not. <laughs> yeah, never mind. But we still have, we have Crobat, so we can still... Yeah, oh, there's the energy there's switch. An energy switch. All right, cool. Okay. So let's play one of those. A little energy switch. Let's energy switch an energy from the active. Bam. Then we have nine cards left. So let's evolve our Eternus V on the bench into the VMAX. And then we can Crobat for four, and hopefully we hit the... Uh, well, we can play the, the Zigzagoon, game. right? And just Crobat for five then? Or yeah, we could, we, could, we could Zigzagoon. Actually, that's a really good idea. Yeah, Zigzagoon here. We could actually win the game. I'm, I'm not thinking straight. Zigzagoon, 10 damage onto the active. Then we Crobat. No, oh, we've got the and other we just six won. We just won. Perfect. So, energy switch one of the dark energies onto the Yveltal. Oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah. we've got the switch in hand as well. And we can use that switch to switch into a Yveltal. Play down the six again. And then, uh, then oh, we don't win. We don't win actually. I'm, I'm a fool. I thought we did ninety. We only did sixty. So That's did fine. I. I don't know why I was anyway. thinking that. But, uh, <laughs> That's fine. We're, we're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna hold the zigzagoon. We're gonna just clutch. All right, there it is. And we're gonna hope that our opponent doesn't win the game. <laughs> oh yeah, because now at this point, if they knock out our Evelta, we're mm. yeah, we're in trouble now. Now we're in trouble. Well, no, can we win with zigzagoon? Well, it depends on how many energies we have left. But right. I mean, technically, yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see, because we've got. Oh boy, because it does how much damage? 30? Oh boy. 30. Okay, oh. so my suggestion is put the Moltres with two energy into the active. Okay, there you go. Because the likelihood of him knocking us out is not great. Uh, can you just play the Great Ball for me so I can see what cards we've got left? Yep. Oh, we, we have one Zigzagoon. energy left and one Zigzagoon. Okay. That's the whole deck, so we're not looking good. Um, no, I think this one is a lost cause, which is a shame because the deck worked really, really well. It did. Uh, let's grab, I guess, the Zigzagoon anyway. We can ping him. Yeah, it doesn't really matter it at this point. It doesn't matter because we can only ping him twice. What we're going to do is we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to accelerate to the benched Moltres and hope that he plays down a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, right? Yeah, he knows. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. It is, because we don't have another energy switch or anything that we can... No. Um, can you just look at the discard pile for me for a sec? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're out of pretty much everything that could be useful to us. That mm. is such a bummer. We are so close, and yet so far, this Altaria is just walling us. I know. And the worst part is that that one turn when they discarded an energy off the top of the deck is gonna cost us here because yeah. we could have won if we had just that extra energy in the deck but that's okay we're just gonna have to pass i think yeah there we go man so close but so hey close. that's fine because you know this this deck that we're playing against is you know it's designed to do this and he's he's very excited because his deck has worked and he's gonna win <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> have a yeah. good day. Now he's yeah. bad man. Now, now he's BMing us. I know. <laughs> now we're just sit here. Oh. Look how much more time we've spent than him. <laughs> I know, but that's okay. That's okay. That's and okay. We, we just pass and lose. That's yeah. disappointing. Oh, well, now we've been decked out. Fantastic. Hmm. 
Your turn. That's Game on. over. We lost. I, it was a loss, but I think the deck worked. Yeah, I think so as well. Like, this is this is the thing. The other thing to remember is, no matter how consistent your deck is, and ours is really, really good, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Moltres did a ton of damage. Yeah, look at this. Even then... Yeah, we do rely on our on our opponent. Our opponent's playing the game as well, and they're trying to win. So I, I think that this is a this is a general success. I think so. I'm gonna call that. I, I you know we we lost the game, but you know it was a moral victory. Yeah, we we lost the game, but we in our heart in our heart of hearts we won. Exactly. That's what that's what it comes down to. All right. Well, I yeah. think people got a pretty good idea of how the deck is supposed to work because <laughs> yes. it did work. We just didn't win. So. Yeah, it, it worked perfectly. We exactly. just didn't win the game. It worked perfectly. Look, it, we flipped all those tails. That was by design as well. That was amazing. I don't exactly. think they got a single we, heads we on us. We fully intended for that to happen. Yeah, that worked out amazing. You know. <laughs> it almost would have been great if they'd been hitting them because we could have just showed off the more of the Moltres because what, what difference was it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's okay. Yeah. Even so. Even so. That's okay. Well. Um, but hey, I'll, I'll tell you what. What I'll do is I'll play this Eternatus list over on the Sableyes, youtube.com slash the Sableyes. And maybe we can win some games over there. Okay, there we go. That sounds good. You will be probably significantly faster than having you narrate all the moves to me instead. <laughs> uh, so if you guys want to see this deck uh, in action even more by a much more skilled player uh, than myself, make sure you head over to the Sable Eyes YouTube channel. I will link to it somewhere on screen and probably in the description down below. Um, go watch Mitch uh, wreck some people with it in uh, true Sable Eyes fashion. It's gonna, I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna be very entertaining. Well, I, I hope so. I hope we don't come against uh, Altaria Licky Licky though. That would be a sad time over there. Have you ever seen that deck before? No, I've never seen it. I really wish we had have looked at the deck list because I need to use Licky Licky as one of the as one of the decks for my challenge that I'm doing. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So uh, that, now you've you've gotten a new idea from this collab to, yeah, to work exactly. for your I've, I've OG the, the 150 Altaria Licky challenge. Licky deck that just destroys us for no reason. Yeah. Right. What a what a random deck to go up against. That's okay. That's okay. That's what That's makes okay. it fun. People trying new things. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Exactly. But uh, thank everyone so much for watching today's video. Thank you, Mitch, for uh, being here with us and helping us learn how to build a competitive deck here on the tra Pokemon trading card game online. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future uh, card game action from us. Also, we have new Nuzlocke episodes coming out every Monday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. Uh, Mitch, tell the people where else they can find you. Well, they can find me in a number of places, but I'm the Sableyes pretty much everywhere. Uh, on Twitter is where I'm most active, but I'm also um, on I'm on TikTok. There's a Discord that you can join. They're all there's a whole bunch of places that you can go. Um, it's at the Sableyes pretty much everywhere. So jump on board. Awesome. Well, I'm sure uh, hopefully a lot of people will come check out this deck that we built today on this channel in action over on your channel. But otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye.